Palantir has dropped a new Titan demo. Let's watch it now. Building off two decades of experience delivering software capabilities for the Warfighter, Palantir is developing the Army's first AI-defined vehicle, designed to outpace and outmaneuver our adversaries with cutting-edge technology that will enable long-range precision fires for the modern battle space. Titan is the Army's next-generation, deep-sensing intelligence ground station enabled by artificial intelligence and machine learning, and represents the first-of-its-kind modernization program. Titan is a historic first for the Army, as a hardware program that is defined by software and developed by a leading-edge software company. Titan delivers AI at the edge that can be tailored to the mission, ensuring soldiers have the latest and most relevant models wherever the mission takes them, even as the threat landscape evolves. What sets Titan apart from prior capabilities is the decisive advantage that the software-enabled capabilities will give to soldiers. This includes faster, deeper sensing that can handle modern sensors at scale, more accurate targeting enabled by cutting-edge AI and machine learning, and more adaptive than any previously fielded system as a result of the software-first development cycle. Titan is a ground station that has access to and can manage data from space, high-altitude, aerial, and terrestrial sensors. Palantir's Titan solution is designed to maximize usability for frontline forces and soldiers by incorporating tangible feedback and insights from soldier touch points at every step of the development and configuration process. This ultimately enables enhanced mission command and long-range precision fires. This is a critical enabler that advances the Army toward JADC2 and deters the near-peer threat. Let's take a look at how it works in action. Users start in the Unified Management Interface, or UMI, which provides them with a comprehensive view of the entire system. Users can monitor system performance and receive push notifications if any system component surpasses key thresholds. Among the key elements users can monitor from UMI is the status of Environmental Control Units, or ECUs. The Titan system includes dual ECUs to cool the crude compartment separately from the compute, which provides redundancy and improved efficiency while also reducing noise in the crude cabin. UMI also gives users a place to configure and manage data integrations from the full array of sensors, including space, aerial, and terrestrial-based sensor platforms. Titan includes an array of communications links, enabling line of sight, beyond line of sight, on the move, and at the halt connections. This ensures users can continue to execute their mission while in transition or in the event of lack of line of sight to critical collection assets. As data streams into the Titan system in near real time, analysts use the suite of exploitation tools to identify and track targets. The system uses AI to reduce the sensor to shooter timeline by automatically refining tracks and target locations and by identifying potential targets in imagery or video sensor feeds. This fused data creates more complete, high higher confidence targets for users to review. As potential targets are identified, users track each individual target throughout its life cycle using Target Workbench. Users manage the entire targeting process from ensuring all target selection standards are met to determining the optimal munition and outcome and capturing BDA analysis. Target Workbench automatically alerts users if a target has fallen out of compliance and also automatically advances targets through the life cycle as approval criteria is met. Finally, when a target is ready for prosecution, Titan supports connections to a variety of joint and army use fire systems. Titan automatically fills a target nomination message in the correct format with all required fields to reduce user overhead and increase speed when closing the sensor to shooter loop. Palantir and our partners understand the value of putting software first, and we're honored to put leading edge AI and machine learning tools into the hands of America's soldiers. The Palantir Titan team unites some of the nation's best traditional and non-traditional partners. The Anderil Industries, Lorther Grumman, L3 Harris, Pacific Defense, SNC, Strategic Technology Consulting, and Worldwide Technology on a common mission. And in doing so, Titan brings together a variety of systems, technologies, and vendors to ensure scalability. Following two decades supporting and driving defense innovation, we look forward to elevating Titan and putting this solution into the hands of soldiers. Software is never finished, and we are proud to continue delivering enhanced capabilities in response to emerging threats. 
Now, my quick thoughts here really briefly are that this has been a long time coming, considering they were competing for that second phase for a while against Raytheon, but now as the prime contractor acting for phase three, essentially the competition now is themselves and getting up to the army standards while they build out these prototypes. But the perks right now is that Pouncer probably can share a little bit more information on what they're doing and how it all works, as you can see, which is bringing the army into the 21st century, not having software as an afterthought when developing hardware, but seemingly to flip that script and now having it be the main focus or at least happening at the same time so both the hardware and software can be optimized for performance. But what are your thoughts below and I'll see you in the next video.